Hello, how you doing? Welcome back and here we are now at Camtasia. Camtasia is pretty much exactly the same as ScreenFlow. The only difference is is that well, that there is you know, they're two different products, that's all, but they do exactly the same things. Um, ScreenFlow is just for Mac, Camtasia you can get for Windows and for a Mac, okay? Um, now I did start to use it on a Mac, I then switched over to ScreenFlow and I'll be honest with you, Camtasia does have a few extra features, um, but I always used to have trouble with sound with Camtasia, which I don't get with ScreenFlow. Now Camtasia have now upgraded theirs, um, and uh, you know obviously they were Windows first, and the Windows version worked fabulously when I was on my PC, but the Mac version I just seemed to have problems with sound. Um, but uh, but they have upgraded it. I haven't played with it, and you know it may end up be that Camtasia is now better than ScreenFlow. Who knows? But let's just go and have a quick look at my ScreenFlow, okay? Because at my Camtasia because I do have Camtasia for Mac I do have the old version um, and uh, as I say it may be worth me upgrading at some point but here we go this is my Camtasia now as you can see oh dear excuse me there I am <laughs> as you can see um, these are the settings and I've got my built-in input on actually so let me just get the right settings there so my sound may have just changed my sound may have just changed because I changed to my headset not my computer um, and I'm recording the system audio as well and the camera is on so I'm in the camera so that's what we want so I can show you how it all works so let's just click record um, and so that's going to take just a couple of minutes here we go three two one this is exactly what ScreenFlow does as well by the way and now you'll see when we go and look at this I am actually recording the screen and I'm recording me at the same time yeah, so I'm moving up and down the screen and I want to show you this free trial here and uh, blah 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 yeah, so that's basically Camtasia. Now I can go up here and I can just click stop recording and that's going to take me directly to the Camtasia editing suite. As you can see, not a lot of difference at the moment is there between this and ScreenFlow other than it's just a little bit, you know, jiggered around. So here we have our preview. There we have our timeline and over here now we have all our functions and all that kind of stuff. Okay, And if we click on this little button over here it's going to bring up all the different um, functions for the stuff over here on this side as opposed to having it all under one side. Yeah, So it's really really very similar. Okay. So very quickly what can I show you? Well this is your media so this is where you'd go and get new media so like I showed you with the introduction we can go and get that now let's bring that introduction in here there it is so we can grab that and just move that in here so that's now going to be imported into the media is it or isn't it? Maybe I need to click on it here and click import maybe I can't drag. Alright so there's my introduction there it is and I can do exactly the same except for this one it's blue bars so I can basically move these along. Let's get them out of the way. Yeah, this little function down here is the same. I can make my timeline smaller or bigger. Yeah, so that's only 10 seconds. So let's move that along. I can't remember how. And then basically I can bring this down here and drag it onto the bar. There it is. Okay. Um, and let's go and get my recordings. Let's grab onto these and let's bring them over here. Okay. So once again, look, here we go, ready? There it is. As well, by the way. Now and that now does seem see... to fit directly on the page there, which is interesting. I'm not sure why the settings within here must be slightly different. If I right click, then I can actually um, see my filters, but we're not going to worry about that now. Okay, so, oh. There we go, that's what I want. Right, so that's where my import media is, okay? And then what we can do here is go over to this little baby and this gives you all of my different things. I've got transitions, I've got filters, and I've got actions. So for instance, you know how I put a transition before between that ending and that beginning? Well, with this one, rather than overlapping them, what you actually do is you would go up to your transition bar here and you'd go and find which transition you wanted. So let's say we wanted it to rotate in and out like that. We'd grab that transition and we're going to go and we're going to put it down there. Okay? Now look, see what happens. As well, by the way. There you go. And that basically transitions into my, to the next uh, bit of the video. So you've got that, you've got, you can change sort of the, the color of the page and all that sort of stuff. You could, I could put a color adjustment down here on the screen, for instance. 
And let's see what happens this there. One, by the way. And now you'll see. Oh, I think you need to mess around with the opacity and stuff like that. So we're not going to worry about that now. But you can do other bits and pieces. And then you've got your actions here. Now, with within Camtasia, they have this thing called Smart Focus. Now, you can do exactly the same, yeah, as you can in... Um, in screen flow yeah I could basically now just just go out like this yeah I can scale in and I can scale out see let's scale in scale out scale in scale out wipe on wipe off <laughs> um, I can move my head around I can do all the things that I could do in screen flow but they also have this quite this funky thing called smart focus now if you basically move smart focus onto your screen then what happens is the recording duration was too short okay what actually happens in Camtasia is when you go around your screen and you click things with your mouse what Camtasia does which is quite funky is if you apply smart focus it means that they automatically zoom in and zoom out where they think your mouse is going yeah now I actually found that really annoying because I just wanted to zoom in and zoom out where I wanted to zoom in and zoom out but it can be quite useful if you get really used to it and so when you're actually recording the video you click at certain times and click at certain times then smart focus will work really very well for you okay and then the other one here is audio so you can do noise reduction and all that kind of stuff but basically, guys, Camtasia does pretty much the same thing as ScreenFlow. Um, as I said, the only difference, and I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm not going to show you because I haven't used it for that long. I can't remember all the functions, so there would be no point in me sitting here trying to whiz things around the um, around the page or anything because I'd we'd probably be all watching me laughing as I got it wrong a hundred times over. Um, but basically, um, it does pretty much all the same stuff as ScreenFlow, but as I said, the only trouble I had was some sound issues. I couldn't record the system audio. I couldn't record other people speaking to me and things like that. But it's really, really worth you going and have a look at Camtasia and ScreenFlow. Both do trials, okay? They both do free trials for sort of 30 days or so. So go and have a look at Camtasia. Go and check out ScreenFlow if you are on a Mac. Um, and Camtasia for PC is really, really good. Okay. And what I might do is see if we can see if we can't grab somebody with a PC who uses Camtasia on a regular basis and ask them if they'll do a training session for us. How about that? We'll grab somebody with a PC who uses Camtasia regularly and we'll ask them to do us a couple of videos and show you step by step how they edit videos using Camtasia for PC. I think that would be a great idea. All right, guys. Okay, in the next video, what I want to do is I'm going to show you um, uh, iMovie. I'm going to quickly go and edit a video in iMovie for you, um, just so you can see how of the very basics again of how I do that. And once again, because I'm on a Mac, it's a bit unfair, isn't it, for all you PC users? We'll find somebody out there who uses Sony Vegas or I uh, or you know movies in Windows and get them to show you that as well. All right, guys. So if you want to see a quick video on how to um, edit a video in iMovie, then uh, stick around and I'll see you on the next video.